I'm going to get started. Um, welcome to Sunset Trail's October version of our roundtable breakout. This is traditionally the Cub Scout roundtable breakout, but we're welcoming our troop friends. Do we have anybody from troops with us here today? Scout Masters, troop assistants? Couple in the back. Yes! Thank you for being here. Um, <coughs> this is all about building bridges, so we're not being exclusive today. But first things first, before we get to our interest topic, I'm going to send out two of these sign-in sheets. Please do sign in on one name, rank, serial number. If you do your best to write legibly, the first reason why I ask you to sign in is because I will send you at the end of the day today an email with a pointer to a location on a Google Drive where all of those handouts and all of my slides exist in PDF format. You can keep them forever and ever. It's a service that I provide to you. That's number one. Number two is if you're working on Scouters Training Scout, Scouters Key or Den Leaders Training, something like that, there are requirements in there to engage with your district and or council, as in come to Roundtable. If it ever comes up that John Scoutmaster put in for Scouters Training and somebody asks the question, if you actually go to Roundtable, we have those records we can back you up. Hopefully that question will never come up because a scout is the first one. Trustworthy, there it is. Third reason is um, if you're from a PAC, we are really encouraging our PAC, PACs in this district to send their scouters, at least occasionally, to Roundtable. We're keeping track of who sends people. And if PACs exist, there are a handful out there that I haven't seen since last year. <laughs> And they're getting the nasty gram from my district commissioner, from my district executive of why are you not coming to the round table? I've been talking to some of these people. Some of them meet on Thursdays. I get it, that's a conflict, okay. But some people just aren't coming to the round table. So you are getting your PAC credit against the nasty gram by being here. So please sign in. Uh, Scouts Honor, we are not sharing, selling, trading, giving away any of this information. This is only for round table staff purposes and uh, it's just for us. Um, I usually do a new sports and weather segment at the front of things that are going on. We're going to skip that because we have guests who don't want to hear about the Cub Scout news. If you want to see that, go to our YouTube channel. At the end of this, there's a link. Look at last month's news. It's the first section. It's still fairly relevant. Daryl tells us about the new training program, a new training tool, all that stuff. All of that is still relevant today. It's changing. Do you know if all the uh, modules are there for series? They're adding, they're keep on, they keep on adding different so, modules. So things every are progressing, but there's not a lot of news to tell you about beyond what's already there. So that's recorded, go watch that. We also typically do a cheer, since we have uh, two people with us who are likely to not enjoy a cheer. We'll skip that for this month. We'll come back to doing a cheer next month. What we do like doing, and I'll get to that in a second, is we like doing a uh, presenting an award that we as scout leaders can guide our scouts to earning because we think that awards add depth and interest to the scouting program, both Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And I also like to present if that award doesn't apply to adult leaders, <coughs> a leader that we adult leaders can earn. We're going to talk today about a work, an award that we can all earn and also applies to our troop friends. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. And we're going to talk about the monthly stuff for the, our, our theme and our topic, our, our scout law point, and a few other things. So hold on for that. For those of you who don't know us, my name is Mike. I'm your Cub Scout Roundtable Commissioner. And my name is Daryl. I'm the Assistant uh, Roundtable Cub Scout Commissioner. And we are your Roundtable team. We are your resources. If you have any issues, um, doesn't matter. If you do not know who your unit commissioner is, if you, <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a second. If you have a committee chair that is non-existent, if you have, if you're a Weebelows leader or a Tiger leader and you're overwhelmed by the advancement program, Daryl's my expert, really our expert, on the advancement program. He's fantastic. Send him an email. Send me an email. If you don't know if you're trained, if you don't know if your scouters are trained, and training is a big deal these days. Uh, most people who come to Roundtable, I found, about 95% of you are fully trained and you know it, and that's awesome. There's always that one that sneaks in and doesn't do it. So, that's us, we are your resources. Please don't hesitate to reach out and ask, and we'll tell you a little bit more about how we can help with this We Below's the Scout transition coming to you. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the messages of peace and work first. Daryl's gonna talk about that. I'm gonna cover the November theme. I was asked to cover the monthly theme for Cub Scouts. If you guys are doing the theme, is anybody doing the themes? Anybody at the Cub? Yeah? A little bit. Yeah, okay. So this, this no, we're in October, so we're talking about next month's theme. We'll talk about that, and then I was asked from council, is there anybody here from council? On behalf of Jennifer, probably not. We, we were going to have somebody from council come and talk about, very briefly, 
how Cub Scout camp is changing. I was asked to do this because we have an opportunity soon to sign up for camp, and there are some reasons why I want to hear about it this month. We'll go through that pretty quickly, and then we'll get right into our big rock topic. We believe the scout transition will round it out with final thoughts and uh, resources. That's what that is. Any questions before we get started? Daryl, take it away. Okay. So this month's um, award is the Messenger of Peace Award. It is sponsored by the World Scout Organization. So it's um, an award that BSA recognizes that sponsored by the World Scout Organization. Um, here's a couple of patches that you can see. They, they're a ring that's worn around the world crest. Um, and the, so there's a couple different dimensions on how you can earn this. Um, you can do a personal dimension, which is something to do with harmony, justice, or equality. Um, there's the community dimension, which is peace over hostility or violence. And then the environmental di dimension, which is conservation. Um, so here's some sample project ideas. Um, the host a holiday party for inmates, um, for children of inmates. Sorry. <laughs> 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 the screen's harder to read than that. Um, collect magazines and books for inner city kids um, and give them. Uh, conduct an entertainment program for skits, plays, for a nursing home. December is coming up. This is a really easy one to do. If you um, get your, you can do this as a den or a pack. Contact a local nursing home and get your kids out there. Really easy to do, and it teaches the kids, you know, that giving back to uh, elders and it makes the elders very happy. Um, so the donating food uh, and feed the, to feed the children. Um, I talked to council this afternoon and scouting for food, if you talk to your scouts um, and make sure that they understand that you're doing this to, you know, uh, end world hunger, but, local, but doing it locally, scouting for food can also count for this award. Um, but, and then clean habitat for humanity houses before <coughs> families move in. Um, community dimensions. Um, so create a community prayer garden for at a local church. Um, replace graffiti with, peen, or with peace themed murals. Um, host conflict resolution slash anti-bullying um, workshops at a school. Um, plan a sports tournament for kids. Um, serve as victims for EMT responders. Um, and so the scope of these is very big on the projects you can do. Um, because it scopes, because everyone can earn this award from a tiger up to a boy scout, up to the scouters that are helping out. So the range of projects is very big. Um, to environmental, and again, a lot of scouts are doing environmental projects. So, and leather, like a solve project, would qualify underneath this. Um, so, uh, and collect disposals of household chemicals. You can find an area that's got a lot of elderly people and canvas the area, um, and just collect those. Uh, chemicals and batteries and then take them to the proper recycling people. Um, so there's many, many different ways that you can earn this award. Um, okay. This elderly. Okay, I added about three more slides. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Veterans at Memorial Day um, and Veterans Day. Again, there's lots of different things you can do for holiday. Uh, stocking food. This again falls into like the scouting for food that we do in December that the district does. Um, and many different, you know, toys for tots or a giving tree or adopt a family. You know, if the pack works together, all of those kind of awards um, qualify for this. So it's, it's very big and very broad, but uh, something that 
we like to support. Um, and so you can remember this counts for JTE as because it's a service project, but there's a button that you have to click when you when you're doing your when you register it. It's actually, a um, when you're going to register your service hours. How many of you guys do uh, register your service hours online? Anybody use that for JTE? Yeah. Uh, if you do service projects with your scouts, you should plug that into the service hours reporting tool. And the first thing you'll see, I think we did a, a breakout on this. Uh, go back and watch our July breakout on, on YouTube. Uh, I have a whole thing on how to do this. One of the selections in there, and when you're sorting uh, what kind of thing we did, is messages and keys. Um, there's also a uh, certificate that you can print out, um, if you search for it right there, um, that you can print out and hand out to the kids as you get, when you give the award also, if you would like to. Um, it's a, uh, slide program that you can actually type in the names on it, so individualize it. So, any questions on the messengers of peace before we move on? It's very broad. Thank you. It is. I'm going to camp set. Excellent. All right. Uh, very briefly, we're going to talk about the November uh, theme and the November point of Scout Law. This month, it's helpful for November again. Uh, there's a lot of ideas you can do to pull in that theme to, to your activities, to your pack meetings. Think about doing a service project, pick up litter in your neighborhood, do something like uh, being helpful to the community or being helpful to the environment. Uh, picking up uh, trash by a stream is a good idea, something like a solved conservation project like Gerard just talked about. Uh, there's a great service project that was discussed in July. I think it was Ann that brought this in, Ann Coombs. From, I think she's up in the Bethany area, and Clean Water Services has this thing they're doing where they're trying to label all the storm drains and let people know that we don't dump our toxic garbage, our bleach, our oil, our hydraulic food, whatever, into the storm drains because that goes straight to our riverways. And so they've got um, this whole thing that they're doing with, they provide these big rubberized stamp sticker things and this super industrial glue, all you gotta do is scrub it off, off the sidewalk with a, a steel brush, or a steel tip, yeah, steel comb thing. Glue it, stamp it, and you're done. And then there's additional uh, house by house flyers that you put on just to make people aware. Hey, you have storm drains in your neighborhood. Look out for this symbol and we're not dumping our things because that pollutes the rivers, et cetera. So it's a great project. She said it took about an hour to do a whole neighborhood. And she had her pack do that, it was really neat. There's uh, more information on that back in our July uh, round table breakout. Do some recycling, hello, what's up? Recycling drive is always a good idea, that's helpful, especially if you have shut-ins in your neighborhood, something like that. Uh, oh, we can talk about camps? That's what, uh, as camp promotion. Okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll be there in just a second. Um, Rick leaves, especially you'd adopt a school or for uh, elderly folks in your neighborhood, something like that, people in need. For den leaders, some adventures that relate to, oh, I forgot to change it to helpful. It's helpful, not brave. Brave is this one. Uh, tiger bites for tigers, pause of, pause of uh, skill, elective, Baloo the builder, elect, uh, that's not elective, that's required, and uh, the fix it, new <coughs> ones, arrow of light elective. These are all things that kind of relate to being helpful. There are elements in there of being helpful. Consider looking at those and trying those out for the month of November. Theme is Cubs in Action, but all ties together. It's never too early to start helping people. That's what scouting is all about. This is the movement has always been about helping those who need it most. And another good tie-in, I know it's December. November is helpful, but if you stretch it into December and talk about how scouting for food, you're being helpful to those people who are in need, who are hungry. That's an excellent point to make. Um, you don't need to change the world. You just need to do your best and act locally. Lisa, yes. come on up. Or would you like me to run the clicker and you can talk? Oh, you can run the clicker and I'll because okay. I have no idea what your clicker is doing. Okay, well, um, this is all about summer camp. Summer camp, it's coming up. My name is Lisa DeCoster and I am your camp promotions for Sunset Trail. Um, a couple of things about summer camp. It's way awesome. It's an opportunity for you as an adult to go have a great time while your kids are going crazy. Um, there's this, this is a great council to be a scout, by the way. Yes. I put this up because... You don't see this in other councils. We have 17 different properties that our scouts can take advantage of. Yep. 
and I was going to get right into day camp. Are so you day camp. Are you ready for that? I, I think so. So day camp, we have Camp Ireland is our closest one for Sunset Trail. It's out in Hillsboro. It's all day for your fabulous boys. Five days. Um, and five, I'm sorry? Five days. Five days. Five work, a work week, how about that? Um, most of you, who, who are all Weebelows? Are we all Weebelows? Any non Weebelows? So you non Weebelows, because typically Weebelows have moved on to resident, which we'll pop into. Except for LDS. Except for, yeah, yes, that do, don't do overnighters. Right. Um, Camp Ireland has various themes. I do not know what the theme is. This is kind of a spontaneous. Oh, I heard the theme. I don't remember what it is, though. It's something like construction or construction. 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 Yeah. yeah. You will have an awesome time. It's a great property. Um, some things to try and keep in mind for your leadership team. If you can get two adults for your eight boys, that's ideal to go for the whole week. That way you know what's going on the whole time. But if you have to have people rotating in and out, that works. Um, moving on from Camp Ireland. Oh, oh well, this is one of the things that they want, want to notice. That Camp Ireland is going to be about $120 per scout this year. Yep. And there are some changes coming. Are you aware of this? Not necessarily. Okay, no. I'll, ra I'll rattle this off then. Too. This is the result of two things. One is the advancement program changes in Cub Scouting. The other, the other result is, and this is more related to what you'll see in just a second, the uh, sale of Scouters Mountain. What they're going to do this time around is instead of having packs, basically if you bring your pack to, to summer camp, they try to keep your pack together and put them in a summer camp den, right? A camp Ireland, you're all together going around doing stations. That's going to change because they're doing what teachers call differentiating your curriculum. They're going to have things be specific for tigers, specific for wolves, specific for bears, and weebelows, and arrow of light, so that this stuff can be relevant to advancement and be more meaningful going forward. Um, so content is age specific. Uh, scouts of all age or ages are welcome to day camp. It's especially appropriate for new scouts, whether it's tiger or if you have a brand new fourth grader and he's not ready for a uh, resident camp or if you're LDS, that's a different story. Uh, still five days, every scout goes home to have dinner with their parents and overnight. View Creek. This is horses. Totally awesome horses. And it is two nights and three days. It is a full three days. I made a mistake of not realizing that I would not get home until 8.30 on that last day. So keep that in mind. It's um, typically Wolves and bears. Yes, they're expanding it this year. They're yes. shifting a little bit because of the sale of Scout Mountain. Yes, it's two hundred dollars per scout and seventy dollars per adult that's attending. Um, yes, Camp Clark. That is a full week. It is at the ocean. It is a totally awesome camp. They have divided it up into two different adventures. You've got a group that's going to be doing Weebelows activities. And we're going to have a group that's doing Arrow of Light activities. And it's 304 per scout and 140 per adult. Yes. Um, your ratio between scout and adult gets a little less. You don't have to have as high. I strongly recommend in any of these that you have a minimum of three. They say they want a minimum of two. Give yourself a huge favor and make it three because one of you can take a break. And you'll want to at least have a moment to breathe. We took 11 scouts to Cub World last year, similar to Deep Creek, and we had five adults, and there were times where we felt stretched. <laughs> so That's a younger group. I had my six-year-old with me, too. Yeah. Oh, good, good question real quick. So, so what I heard there uh, was that <clears throat> for boys going into fourth grade yes. and fifth grade, yes. really we should be targeting camp. Clark Mayer weather. Yes. For kids going into second grade and third. and third grade, we should really be targeting Butte Creek. Yes. And then, that, so, so really, Camp Ireland might be best for our recruiting efforts in spring that they go in their first scouting experiences. <laughs> or if you have boys or mothers who are not ready to not have their. Right. And, and I mean, if mom's not ready, hey, tell her she can come to camp. I think you get to go to camp again. It's totally awesome. <laughs> and, and is it? Do they split the, by by den? 
by age group, or they try to keep the packs together at Clark and Meriwether? So, and, in my experience, and I'm going to pick on Harden back there, because he just went to Adventure Cove. Hi, Harden. Excuse me, uh, and Clark last yeah. summer. And the program shifted considerably between my experience and his experience. Were you with your den the entire time? They still time? keep everybody in the den. Your campsite will probably have two or three uh, Other packs with you as Depending well. on the size so of your group, you all get grouped right? together yeah. there at the camp. Did they treat it like a troop, or did they bypass that whole system? Uh, they kind of bypassed okay. it, I think. Yeah. So there, that, there was no camp provided that's fine. leaders. And did you have a question about Camp Ireland? Yes. So I've had those of the year. Um, if they're going to divide it out by den, which I think is a great everybody, um, yeah, by den, what about the adults that are with them? Because if you're only sending two adults for eight kids, but they're all in different dens. That's an excellent question. What are the adults going to Unfortunately, I do not have an answer for you on that. I will contact Jennifer Mary tonight and get so an answer for you. Need an what, adult what pack are you from? What? 547. Okay, I'll let you know what I learned. I, you know, honestly, I'm not sure. I think it's possible they may, and I don't know. I'm not sure how Jennifer and the group work. Or just go with because that is a complication, <laughs> especially with Ireland, where you can bring anywhere from a t from you know a third grader to a fifth grader, and a ton of them potentially, right? Right. Well, so. potentially, then you're not necessarily with your boys. You're with yeah. Other people's boys. I, right. That is that is I an excellent it's question. Fine, but as long as you have enough adult leaders. Yeah. yeah. Well, in theory, everyone's bringing enough leaders. I just don't know how they would divide that up. And that might be something that they're getting flexible. It's going to be a complication. <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, another question that we, so um, you see more about this. Uh, you're saying you're getting a group of my ranks at Camp Ireland for, for age. For age, if you will. But then I'm assuming they still get a form dens so that if you have enough kids to be together in a den, they're still. They're all the same rank, but they're still kind of together. So, like, if you have, I'm guessing, purely thinking that this seems logical to me, that if you bring four wolves, that your four wolves are going to be in the same grouping as a bunch of other wolves. That would be my guess, because it seems logical. But, like, you know, there's an unwritten law where a scout is flexible. Um, <laughs> just kind of go with the flow sometimes. So we'll find out more from Jennifer what her yeah. vision is for the day camp thing. They, I think it's a great opportunity for the boys to get to know other boys um, and for them to you know, work towards their own. So I like the concept. I think you know, there may be some wrinkles there. there there's gonna, <laughs> you'll, you'll want to let your leadership team know that this is a new system and that they're going to be doing their best, but to you know, breathe. When does uh, registration November we'll talk about that 7th. in just a second. That's the next slide. You're one slide ahead of me. Camper ships are available. Don't let finances be a barrier. This is an old slide that we presented in February, but it's still true. There will be a new uh, opportunity fund application for 2016, probably in a couple months, I imagine. So stay tuned for that. And it, does, it never hurts if you have somebody who thinks, well, maybe, but just try. Just fill it out and see what happens. Uh, first opportunity to sign up for summer camp is University of Scouting, November 7th. You have to go to U of S to sign up. So go to U of S. Uh, sign up early, get the slot you want. <laughs> We're predicting, the council is predicting because of the sale of Scouters Mountain that the other camps, particularly Gilbert, I'm sorry, Butte Creek and Camp Clark, that they will be busy. They will probably be fairly full. If you like a specific spot, get it early. Uh, camp dates are on the websites. Each of these has a link I put down here. The link is live on the PDF. That's where you will find today all of the dates, including all pack camping, uh, traditional uh, Cub Scout camp, as well as girls camp they have one week every year. Go look for those and you can see what all the dates are. So that's you right there. Okay, so question? Yes. So have, are there going to be more sessions now? Because essentially we I lost don't. the camp. You're right. Actually, we lost two camps over the past 18 months. I don't know. I they, certainly hope so. They've said that they'll base it off registration. So if the camps all fill up, they'll add another camp. Well, and the other half of that is they've been building sites at both Butte Creek, and I believe they're building sites at Camp Clark. They're building new, so they're new expanding yeah. sites yeah. at Camp Clark. Yeah. yeah, and they have a brand new fire bowl as of March or April or May or whatever. I'm sorry, go ahead. I went to Camp Clark the first week of August and Great. I talked to the camp director and she was telling me that they had six weeks, they had one more week and then they were shutting down after we left. 
So this next year, she was telling me that they were planning for 10 weeks. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Great. So, so they're, they're expanding the camp and they're yeah. lengthening the time. So right. that would be another reason to register early yes. so that the council knows what to expect so they can forecast yeah. appropriately. If they don't see registrations come in, they're going to say, well, nobody wants to go to camp, so why should I bother? Yes. Are they considering or add, planning to add another camp to replace uh, the world? I don't know. Um, my understanding is I don't think there's anything on the radar. I think I they're, they're looking at how to create the same program they had at Cup World. Camp Discovery was kind of very much similar to Ireland and some of the other ones. So the program is the program. Cup World's amazing, mm -hmm. and we're all going to miss it, those of us who got to go. <coughs> and we hope that they can fill in that energy and that amazing experience at Yilbert. Oh, Creek. Butte Creek, I'm sorry. Anyone who's been to Butte Creek. Yeah. But, but I guess, uh, 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 this is maybe not really a good camp, but are there going to be employment opportunities for scouts, for Boy Scouts? Oh, yes, absolutely. absolutely. Every year. On the CPC website, it usually opens up around January, right? I think. I don't know if I can that. I, Mine's only just getting old enough. What you want to do, if you're on Twitter, subscribe to the CPC Twitter feed because every January they come and, and audition, or not audition, but uh, Facebook also, if you're on Facebook. Um, and they might have some email stuff. Yeah. Tune into that if you're really curious. You have an older sibling, maybe? I have two boys now. Okay. It's a great experience. I don't so uh, you can volunteer as a 14 or 15 year old. Day camp is 14 yes. as a volunteer. Resident camp is 15 as a volunteer. You, if your 15 year old wants to make a little extra cash, you can actually get paid to be at the day camp. Yeah, I think you're. But you're, you're, you're still volunteering at the uh, Boy Scout camp. Level. Right. I think you can. There, depending on the age, you can volunteer for a few weeks or something, and yes. then start getting paid if you're 15 or 16. It, it's they've got a whole thing. And they'll explain that. Other questions? Yeah, one more. So, uh, if I understand right then, so um, there is no different program than for, say, wolves and bears at U Creek. It's just going to be one program. No, I believe they're going to differentiate that as well. They're going to have, it, you, my, I, I don't know if they're going to separate the groups and have bear, wolves and bears be in different campsites. I don't think so. It doesn't sound like it. But I think you might have different rotations of activities. Or they might find activities that relate to both. Or, or they can tweak to have and expand to relate to both. That's my Hopefully, guess. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll all find yeah, out, right? right? <laughs> yeah, see, there's adventures that these boys are wanting to accomplish. Absolutely. The suggestion from council is to have a primary date that you want to take your scouts to camp, and also a backup. And be flexible a little bit, because they're expecting these to fill up. Uh, our Cub Scout camp, of course, Leet says our district camp promotions. I don't have your email on my slide. That's okay. It's okay. Jennifer Mooney is our Cub Scout camping director for the Cascade Pacific Council. And our council, she's fantastic. If you have specific questions, I'll contact her about your question because I want to know too. Um, shoot her an email, give her a call. If and you. if you want to contact me, right, I'll give you my email address. Actually, I can throw a slide in for your contact. When I dump this off because I've changed slides. I'll have to update. I'll put does, Leeds' contact. He does forward this, but. Yes. Okay, so I'll he'll forward sure. this to everyone, and when he forwards that to you, he'll make sure my emails. He'll copy me, and I'll be Leeds to Coster. Leeds is a great resource, too. And she I wants to everyone to go to camp. Any questions Absolutely. about camp, Cub Scout camp in particular? Thanks for holding with us, guys, from the truth. <laughs> Appreciate it.